This video is presented by the EA Creator Network and a huge thank you to EA for providing me with a free code for the new Werewolves pack. Hi and welcome to my channel, I am Labushka and today we are doing a speed build of a starter home for a werewolf. Uh, but it could also be a starter home just for a sim moving into Moonwood Mill, it doesn't necessarily have to be a werewolf. But the idea behind this speed uh, build, behind this house, was to create kind of a really run down home as a starter home. I didn't want to create something that was really kind of nice and, um, and fancy. So I decided to build this on the 15 by 20 lot in Moonwood Mill. And the original inspiration came actually from a dream that I had some time ago. And in that dream, there was this beautiful, nice cabin in the woods. And of course, this one is quite a bit different than uh, the one that I, I saw in uh, my dream at that time. But anyway, I wanted to, as I said, create something that was like, had a feel of being quite a bit run down. So with the windows, I had a bit of trouble and some other items in the build. Um, I had a bit of kind of difficulty deciding, you know, what really suited this aesthetic that I was going for. And I managed to use, I think, quite a few items from the new pack, but I also mixed in some other things as well. Uh, but um, if you saw my speed rating of all the build by items that came with the pack, uh, you might notice that I used some items in this build that I kind of wasn't uh, necessarily quite a fan of. But I really sort of tried to step out of my comfort zone here when uh, I was making this. So for me, when I'm building, which usually I don't uh, speed build, I think I only have one so far on my channel, one speed build, uh, which was a renovation actually for the Rags to Riches Let's Play. But uh, when I do build, even just sort of in my own gaming time, I don't tend to do the wallpaper and the flooring first which um, maybe is a little bit uncommon, but I think sometimes I really don't have a clear idea of the colors, especially for wallpaper that I really want. So I kind of tend to leave those things till a little bit later when like the rest of the color scheme comes together. So that's sort of what I did uh, for this build here. Now I wanted to create sort of uh, an open, a kind of open kitchen. And you'll see that I started to put some uh, sort of cabinets at the top and I wanted to have this half wall here. So I kind of started with the cabinets and I actually ended up taking them off uh, because I didn't quite like how they looked. And I ended up going with some nicer columns as well from, uh, I think they were from Country, sorry, the Cottage Living Pack. And so there are some like nicer things in this build, for example, like those columns, uh, the fireplace is actually really nice uh, in my opinion. So in a way, I think this build has like features of it that kind of allude to the fact that, hey, maybe like once upon a time, it used to be like a bit of a nicer house, a bit of a nicer cabin. And then over time, it's become like a little bit decrepit, a little bit like neglected. And that's why it's, you know, sort of uh, well, in the state that, that it is in, in the final stages. So there are some like kind of slightly nicer things, but on the whole, I really wanted to give um, the feel that, yeah, like this place has maybe been abandoned and sort of neglected uh, and, you know, by whoever's lived there. So I didn't want to create, yeah, anything um, too nice. So that was also a consideration with choosing items and of course like I wanted this starter home to be within the budget of you know a sim starting out so um, it definitely I didn't want to make it more than uh, 20,000 simoleons. Now this is a two bedroom uh, one bathroom home which is exactly what was in that sense the same as the build that was already here that came with the pack and I kind of like the idea of having the extra room anyway, and I do this a lot in my own uh, builds or my own houses for my sims. I like to have an extra room because I feel like it gives you that freedom, even if you only have one sim, to turn that room into like, you know, an art space or an office or a gym or things like that. So I kind of like the idea that even if I use this build for um, Bob when we move him to Moonwood Mill, which is coming up real soon that you know we have that spare room nobody necessarily has to live there but just that we have that extra space in case uh, we wanted to use it 
Now with the wallpaper, I originally was thinking in my head that I would go for the wooden wallpaper in sort of most of the house and I just really didn't like how it looked. So then I remembered there was that kind of really dirty, grubby looking uh, wallpaper and that's essentially what I went for and I think it worked really well for like the main space and, uh, and for the bedrooms. And I put some stairs at the front in a minute. So the layout was pretty much, um, again, based on what I remembered from, from my dream. And with the kind of bigger bedroom where there will be a double bed, uh, it, there isn't a lot of space, but I wanted to make sure that at least a double bed could fit in there, even if there wasn't a lot of room for much else. I think all in all, I was really happy with uh, how the layout turned out anyway and uh, with sort of how it fit on the lot and everything like that. I thought that the house might be a little bit too big for the lot and so I had a bit of trouble here fitting the stairs in because I really didn't want to make those bedrooms or that hallway any more narrow. So I kind of had to readjust um, my original idea to put the stairs at the front but I still managed to have like a little porch without it seeming, I think, uh, too cramped on the lot. Like it doesn't leave a lot of room for much else but I think for a starter home actually I was really happy with how it turned out and I could afford to put into the build like a lot more than I originally expected that I would be able to. So uh, as you can see with the double bed, like I said, uh, I managed to fit it in there. I really ideally would like to have had the bedside tables with lamps, but I thought like, again, it doesn't really matter. Like this is just meant to be a starter home. So it's really not meant to be perfect and not meant to have like everything that I would have liked to have. And these windows from, I think they were from Get Together. They just seemed to work really well. I wanted windows that were like not too nice, but um, sort of looked like a cabin feel. So I think these ones worked really well for that and I was quite happy. Uh, I have to say like one thing in the build that I had a bit of trouble with, especially like as you might have seen earlier in the video with the frames, the door frames, or like the arches and then the columns for the kitchen was matching uh, the brown swatches. And I think that's, you know, generally kind of can be an issue in this game with the different shades of brown and they're not always consistent, but I think I think I was really happy with actually how all of it turned out and the, the like overall aesthetic of everything that came together. Now I quite like these tarp curtains. I think, I don't know, can I say that I overused them in this build, but I think they just, you know, again, really fit and not something that I would like, of course, put in probably like a nicer house for my sims, but I thought that worked really well. Um, this part of the video I actually recorded on a separate uh, day, so that's why it kind of cut, um, cut quite sharply. But uh, that mirror also actually I said I didn't like and uh, I ended up using it. And then I thought actually these, all these uh, like fun wall things that we got, especially with uh, the vampire pack, I have never used them before because I tend to just want to build really nice houses and even the cobwebs never used them before. So I thought it was really, really fun putting all of this uh, into into the house and it just made it like, I think it was like for me, like the cherry on top. I just really loved how it added to the aesthetic of the house. And uh, yeah, just, I think it created perfectly like the image that I had of like creating this run down kind of falling apart house so I was really happy with how it turned out and also these like sort of faded images that I might think from the cats and dogs pack also I, I have never used those so I was really glad to get an opportunity to use those in this build. As you can see um, I, I'm only adding roofs to or roofing to the build now that's kind of just the way that I tend to build uh, I don't worry about the roofing so much until I have like the layout of the house sort of more down pat because for me that's kind of the main thing that I worry about and uh, I also pulled out the um, sort of new bonfire that we have uh, I was really glad that, that wasn't expensive because I really wanted to have that on the lot as well so uh, that just kind of stays there as a bit of a bit of fun and I'm hoping that if I use this build for Bob uh, that he you know will use the fireplace and I'm not sure what the, the bonfire can they actually uh, dance around it but I was thinking I'd love to see Bob dance around a bonfire that would be great um, I also put those vines on um, this kind of like sort of dead looking vines from the vampires pack on the house uh, of course just to add to that 
sort of feel like, you know, maybe once upon a time this used to be a nice house, but now like those vines are sort of dead and gone and there's, there's really not much left there. So um, I think, yeah, again, really happy that this build kind of forced me to use items that we've had from other packs that I haven't really. So yeah, just overall to me anyway, a success, really happy. Uh, but yeah, there'll be some uh, still shots of the inside of the house and the outside uh, coming up. So I hope you enjoy this build very much. Uh, I hope that it appears in game when we do our uh, Let's Play for Bob. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.